In today's brief video, I want to talk to you guys about the five stages of relapse when it comes to drug relapse prevention. For those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Dr. Frank. I'm the founder of Addiction Mindset Recovery Coaching, where we specialize in helping people quit nicotine, THC, energy drinks, and adult media content. Now, if you're anything like me, you have relapsed on one or many of those things more times than you would like to admit. But I got some good news for you. We're gonna talk about each of these five stages that I drew out here in this circle of drug relapse. And once you understand why it happens, I think it's going to be a lot easier to prevent it. So stage number one, or the first thing that happens, is there's typically some type of triggering event or circumstance, okay? Now, this could be as simple as stubbing your toe and saying, son of a B, I just hurt my toe. I'm going to go relapse because I'm in pain. This could be something more serious. Perhaps you were recently in a car accident. Maybe you lost a loved one, a family member, or a pet in your life recently. Maybe you just broke up with your girlfriend or wife. Maybe you lost your job. There's typically some type of triggering event that occurs or triggering circumstance. That's stage one. Stage number two, that triggering event or circumstance then leads to a series of emotions. So now I'm angry. I'm uh, feeling insecure. I'm feeling anxious. I'm feeling depressed. All of these emotions come about. And typically, these are relatively uncomfortable emotions. Now, stage Three is where your brain says, okay, I want to escape this feeling. So you had a circumstance, it created an emotion, and now your brain, that addicted part of your brain, starts to say, hey, I want to escape this. I don't like the way I feel right now. And if you're stuck under active addiction, your brain is under the impression that using a drug is going to help you escape from those emotions, which temporarily it does, but I think we, we, I think we can all agree that long-term, this escape is just a facade created by addiction because what we're really doing, if we move to that next stage, stage four, using the drug, is we're further entrapping ourselves in this cycle. We're actually doing the very opposite of escaping. We're actually bringing ourselves deeper and deeper into this problematic situation. So stage four, you decide to use the drug. Now, once you use the drug, this leads to stage five, and this is where things get really messed up. In stage five, drug use typically results in damaged relationships, damaged financial problems, health consequences, both mental and physical. Maybe your use of marijuana, nicotine, alcohol leads to an argument with your wife, and boom, here we are now back at stage one. What a lot of people fail to realize and what I failed to realize for a really long time when I was stuck in active addiction is that the, the drug use is what leads to the event or the circumstances that are in essence so stressful. So then this cycle begins all over again. And this is the cycle of relapse that so many of us who struggle with addiction, just like myself, experience. Now, I have some tips for you guys to prevent this from happening. Tip number one, if you're new to quitting or you're early on in your sobriety and recovery process, understand that no matter what, I don't care if you're quitting weed, nicotine, or alcohol, every time you try and quit, I promise that first two weeks or so, life is going to seem more stressful for most people. Something's going to happen. You're going to get in an argument. You're going to stub your toe. You're going to mess up at work. Like something is going to happen and your brain is going to really want to blow that out of proportion because that can then start to justify the reasons for relapse. But please understand, good things are always happening in life. Bad things are always happening in life. This is just life. This is just the way it is. Some of my videos on here do good. Some of them tank. This is just the way life is. And we have to start to accept that. Because otherwise, we're always going to have an excuse 
to why we can't quit right now or why we have to wait till next week or why now just isn't a good time to get sober. Handling pressure, being able to handle challenging circumstances in life is a key trait of success. And I truly want each and every one of you guys watching this channel to achieve all levels of success that you believe you're capable of. And I believe you're capable of that too. Now, that's my first tip for you. My second tip is we have to, we have to stop this cycle when we go from stage one to stage two. So stage one is the triggering event. Stage two is where we start to feel those negative emotions or those negative feelings. We have to learn proper coping mechanisms. Now, maybe this is a point where you get into a treatment facility. Maybe this is a point where you sign up with our offices for coaching. Maybe this is a point where you pursue talk therapy with a psychologist or someone or a friend or a family member who can help you work through these emotions and interpret these emotions in a healthy manner, okay? So important because if we go from triggering event to getting help versus trying to escape from our emotions, we're going to immediately stop this whole cycle of relapse. But the moment we don't deal with those emotions, the moment we feel we need to escape from them, the, the higher and the higher the chances are we're going to use a drug, which then that drug is going to result in yet another triggering event. And then this cycle continues on and on and on and on and on. My other big piece of advice for this would be you have to stop viewing the drug as the solution. If you're addicted to weed or you're addicted to nicotine or addicted to alcohol, I don't care what it is, you have to stop viewing the drug as the solution. The drug is the problem, okay? And as long as you view the drug as the solution to this cycle, as long as you view the drug as the solution... You will not escape this cycle of relax. But if you can truly see it as the source of the problem and be accepting of that, I think you're going to have a much, 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 much decreases, decreased chances of relapsing. Now, I want you guys to start to plan ahead. What things in the past, what circumstances, what events have triggered a relapse for you? And how could have you handled it differently? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear. Secondly, go pick up the book. I put the link in the video description below. The Way of the Seal. This is a book written by a Navy SEAL. And it talks about techniques and therapies that can help develop mental toughness. So please get this book. Read it. It helped me a lot when it came to fortifying my mindset against drug relapse, even though this book has nothing to do with drugs. And my last piece of advice to those of you guys struggling would be this. Even if you're struggling and you're relapsing and you're screwing up, realize this is progress because a few weeks ago, a few months ago, a few years ago, relapse probably wasn't even a word in your vocabulary. If you're talking about drug relapse, that means you're talking about recovery, you're talking about sobriety, you're on the right path. Just try and do 1% better tomorrow than you did today. And I promise eventually you're going to hit a lot of good days in a row ahead at some point in time. All right, guys, why don't you follow me in my other video about preventing relapse? I'll see you guys there.